was your why was your grandfather so inspirational to you during your childhood? He was a great guy. He was a he was a terrific guy. What did he teach you? Um, he was a phenomenal salesperson, probably the best I'd ever seen. Really? He, yeah, I mean that was you know it was the salespeople were dominant in my family. I have a lot of salespeople in my family. Actually, almost actually everybody. And it's quite odd that everybody in your family is in sales, and now you work at a technology company built around selling. Actually, it is. You're right. That's, <laughs> that's a good point. I, I, I am now pre producing the software for the, the very job that most of my family uh, has, has taken up as their profession. <laughs> yes, that is actually odd. I don't think I thought about that, actually. <laughs> ma their master plan has come to fruition. Uh, it's full circle. <laughs> it's come around. So back to your grandfather. So he constantly was learning. He, he, would, he lived at the, the library over at 42nd and 5th. He'd go there, you know, a couple times a week, constantly read. He spoke five languages. I don't know why he learned all these things. He didn't really need them to do. I mean, he sold suits. It wasn't <laughs> like he had this huge international crowd that he was dealing with. But for whatever reason, he just kept, he never stopped reading, never stopped learning. And, you know, till the day he died. I mean, he, he was still doing that trip. You know, he lived in Brooklyn and did that trip to Fifth Avenue. God, I, well into his, his late 80s and early 90s. I mean, it was kind of crazy.